hello everyone uh, today we would be having tutorial on uh, nagios and hadoop uh, so we would as uh, discussed in today's presentation uh, so we would be explaining um, how uh, how we would be installing nagios um, on the hadoop cluster and uh, monitor the hadoop uh, uh, status so uh, here are few prerequisites uh, before getting getting into further tutorial so we we would be have uh, we first we would be having a centos 7 bin 1 version which would uh, which uh, needs to be connected to internet uh, uh, using nmtui so uh, basically we have done for light uh, tpd so similar way we need to uh, enable the internet connection and we need to uh, install this uh, um, uh, packages uh, before uh, w, uh, which are wget and uh, dos2 unix and and prerequisites uh, uh, even hadoop is expected to install in the same virtual machine so we would be uh, monitoring the this local host uh, on the nagios dashboard and uh, here um, so we we followed uh, the nagios uh, uh, website uh, uh, which is on the techment uh, the instructions how to install uh, Nagios. Um, so this all, are all the commands which uh, need to be followed. And this would be the URL, okay, I'm highlighting. So which is install Nagios in Linux for the techment and uh, the same for the NRP thing. So, but what we have done is, uh, so we have migrated all those commands into a shell script. Uh, so, and uh, this shell script uh, is uh, used to, uh, used for, in uh, transfer stbs uh, transfer dot sh website and we have uploaded our uh, nagios uh, dot sh local uh, to the uh, our centos so that's the reason we first install this uh, basic uh, packages wget such that we can get this uh, nagios shell script from the um, our uh, uh, file server and uh, DOS to Unix to convert this uh, um, Nagios.sh compatibility to the uh, CentOS. So this is the, I mean, uh, currently uh, uh, running which has uh, Nagios and uh, both uh, um, Hadoop cluster. Right, uh, so I would be uh, showing a small uh, uh, demo uh, where in which uh, the fresh uh, CentOS is there. I mean, where nothing Nagios, no Nagios, everything is installed. Uh, this uh, Nagios uh, shell is downloaded into this uh, uh, virtual machine. So I, I'll just go through you the commands. Uh, so these are the all commands which are uh, present in their, in the website. So I've just kept them one by one and tried running the shell. So it executed uh, successfully. So even though it's not a best practice, uh, we need to write more logics like uh, if it has failed in any stage, right, to restore it and all. But uh, to minimize the efforts, right, where we had tried this way, it worked for us. So you can directly copy all those commands and put this echo statement to see the status where it is and where it is running. So this is this is the path where the Nagios get downloaded and this is the something all the Nagios get tars and uh, this all configuration install everything would be done one by one and this is the where we give our uh, nagios dashboard uh, username uh, which is nagios admin and password uh, as we wish and uh, that's how the service is enabled so i mean so once you uh, run that script so your uh, nagios uh, will be up and running in this portal once you perform all the uh, port forwardings and all uh, so that is very much uh, clear in this uh, uh, website how to uh, do it mm, so so this is how you install nagios uh, with a quick time in your local cluster so the same with the nrp so you can uh, place all the dog uh, commands the all the commands into the, the shell and try executing the shell where it will be installed successfully that is what we followed uh, after trying multiple times. So because it is every command typing in um, uh, CentOS would be taking time. So because I was not able to figure out the bi-directional copying. Um, so now let's uh, 
uh, go through the, I mean, uh, the one which is Nagios is running. Uh, this is the, so this is the dashboard of Nagios. So from this uh, check part, uh, these are all uh, the custom ones. Uh, so when you install uh, default Nagios, you would be having uh, uh, till this one, till total process. And you can toggle around uh, this dashboard. Mm -hmm. So when you have multiple host or if you have connected a remote host, right? So you can directly go if thing, uh, anything is down. So what are allowed? These are the services. No. Uh, how many are uh, running all the stuff you can see and you can set the notification modes to the email and all the stuff so now we'll get into uh, further with the configurations that how we mapped all this custom scripts so now let's go to the uh, CentOS so uh, so this is the uh, Part once uh, once the Nagios get installed, it would be uh, would be in this path user local Nagios, and uh, after uh, in the, when you enter to the Nagios, uh, you would be find finding this uh, paths. I mean this uh, folders, and we are uh, more of uh, if you want to uh, do any configuration, we need to go to um, ect slash object. So you know, this is the part where all the configurations uh, would be placed. So every configuration is uh, named after uh, convention CFG. And we would be more worrying about uh, now the local host CFG and command CFG. So now let's uh, get into the local host uh, uh, CFG. So uh, the custom parts you need to place at the bottom. So if you uh, see right, uh, so we would be uh, till till here uh, it is uh, uh, till here it is uh, the default ones and from here we would be uh, commented like HDFS related services. So if you see in the uh, naming conventions of this, uh, uh, so you need to define service such that every uh, definition of the service will be populated in this dashboard. So when you see check HDFS here. That means service description would be checker as JFS and lo uh, host name would be the local host, which is the current uh, CentOS. And there are two uh, comments types. So one is uh, with an NRP, one is with the Nagios code. So currently we are demonstrating with the Nagios. So we have comment out at the NRP uh, plugin monitoring, but both, both use uh, same scripts and all. But it is uh, as that we are now monitoring the local host, you can use the Nagio score. So when you're monitoring the remote, so you can, you, know, you need to use the check command, which uh, NRP will be helpful. So every individual service, if you see over here, uh, you would be finding check FSDS, safe mode, all the stuff. So the, uh, if you notification enabled is equal to one, then you would be getting emails. And there are another mode of uh, notifications which can be configured. Uh, so e each and every uh, service is defined over here. This is the first, uh, I mean, uh, important uh, configuration which we need to do. Uh, so it, it's uh, when we are doing with NRP, you need to follow this name notations and all the stuff, which is exclamation uh, thing. So now let's uh, uh, go to the command uh, uh, cfg commands.cfg. So if you see, this is the commands.cfg file. So again, uh, rewrite to the end of the file. So you would be seeing uh, uh, there the command, the name would be given here. Suppose uh, first thing is uh, check SDFS. So check FTS, the command name would be check FTS. So this is mapped in the local host configuration. So the command line is it will go to the path and find the script and run the script to display the output in the uh, dashboard. So this is uh, the command when when you're dealing with uh, Nagia score. So these are the uh, two uh, config files, which is local host and commands uh, CFG. So you would be placing uh, placing the um, host details on the the CVG and you would be uh, CFG and you would be pasting the commands on the CFG for the Nagia score. Now getting back to one path behind, then you will find nrp config so 
here if you see the nrp config so you will find here the command commands which are commented as we are not running now so if you don't comment them out the service won't be starting so if you're not using you need to comment on in all the configuration that is very important so this is these are the scripts uh, which are referring uh, uh, by the nagio score to pull out so let's uh, quickly uh, uh, go to the scripts path so this would be under uh, nagio's uh, library executions so so this i will be showing you so these are the uh, the custom scripts which are uh, check hdfs and these are already you know uh, provided by default by the nagio score so from here if you see it is check fgs uh, name load hdfs and each of it are placed in this path so whenever nagios process runs it refers to the local cfg then refers what command name it is there then it goes to the commands uh, cfg and it goes in the command cfg says which path the actual script is there then it will come here and execute so let's now uh, go to the each script and uh, see how how it's been coded so first let's go to the check hadoop uh, group users It's Hadoop users. So this is the uh, users. Um, so generally, uh, this would be having uh, this path in each city group will be having. Uh, the users for the particular group so we are searching here the hadoop string and we are doing a print of uh, fourth column as from fourth column the user start so if you uh, see on the dashboard so it's uh, kaza 1b which is sundari and myself are the users for this hadoop cluster uh, so they are present so when while displaying so zero is uh, uh, gui and uh, Two is critical. So now, uh, quickly, I mean, uh, see, I mean, so this in the presentation we have explained uh, each and every script logic. Now let's uh, play around uh, with a dashboard, like uh, shutting down the the Hadoop and see how the uh, scripts uh, react. Okay. Um, so I'll uh, quickly go to the. Um, uh, Hadoop path. So, so this is the Hadoop path. Now, I will execute um, Hadoop stop all uh, services. So uh, this would be uh, stopping Hadoop and uh, the next schedules will take some time. So till then I will uh, uh, pause the uh, tutorial and uh, resume when the Hadoop uh, schedulings are uh, completed the schedulings. So now we have, uh, now we see that HDFS is critical and uh, uh, critical HDFS corrupted means it is shut down. So we can change the uh, message. Uh, so now I'll just uh, uh, type that command, you know, just uh, to see if it is down. So command. So it says connection refused. Uh, so even if you go to the interface, 
it is down uh, so this is uh, i mean how we uh, monitor the edits in the dashboard and <clears throat> And when it comes to uh, challenges with the installation, as we discussed in, in the presentation, so the more of uh, it would be the configuration. Sometimes you need to frequently uh, you, you need to restart for any configuration change. Mm. So uh, so you need to restart your Nagio service and NRP service and HTTP service uh, every time you make uh, the configuration changes and and that's uh, uh, pretty much and if you have any uh, questions regarding any other details if you require an additional so please uh, drop us email thank you